All right, guys, we got to get this RS Racecraft Hydro Blaster intake pump into the boat. Lots to do. It's not so easy. It's not quite as hard as the sprint boats. Well, maybe, maybe not. We'll talk about that in this episode. Let's go. I get a lot of questions asked on how do you couple a jet ski pump and an intake to one of these mini boats and really the answer are these very creative adapters um, there's not that many manufacturers that make these intakes that go into the pump but these don't change this does this gets bolted right to the transom this gets bolted to the outside of the transom and then your, your jet ski manufacturer, depending on where your holes or the diamond or everything, that's how those things couple up and get bolted to the pump. So they're a little different than our sprint pumps, but they're also super cool. That all you gotta do is change that adapter. If you have a Sea-Doo, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Honda, any of those things, that adapter is what allows that to couple together. So we gotta get this thing into the boat. So. The hole, the bottom, the bottom of this thing is quarter inch. The UHMW, three eighths. So what is that? That's five eighths thickness that we have to kind of solve for. So I kind of took some of it apart, but we got to essentially try to get, this is the foot of the grate. We got to figure out how to get that flush with the bottom of the UHMW, or if not, maybe just recessed just a little bit. So I took some measurements off here and I couldn't remember if, um, on the Skookum 13, they give you just a very, I think it's an eighth inch, a very small ring that sits on top of the bottom plate. They have a cutout, everything's pre-located. They have a cutout and the top ring sits on the bottom. This thing is a half inch thick, um, kind of similar to the jet block of our sprint pumps. Um, but it is, so that thing is a half inch thick. So I did a little bit of math and I realized that when I built the 3.3 meter boat, those things get cut completely out, recessed down into that bottom plate and then welded into the bottom of the boat flush with the bottom. So then you add the three eighths of the UHMW that extends about that. And then you're going to have the width. So. We got to get this thing marked out. It is not pre-cut. That's a little extra work, but I'm going to throw that thing in there, mark it out, cut the whole, the opening up there and, uh, and go from there. So here we go. Let's get to work.
came back outside from lunch and I was reviewing some of the videos and I realized that a bunch of them didn't record. So I'm just gonna have to catch you up, I guess. So here we are. I have got the pump ring in there. So this is how I did this. Well, you saw me marking it out, cutting it out, getting that thing placed in there. That thing is flush with the bottom delta. Um, so that was step one. Then I threw the pump in there and I used these holes right there to mark the holes in the transom and started cutting out. And then I used this, uh, this adapter that we talked about. I use that on the outside to draw the holes and use a, the biggest hole saw that I have, cut that out. And then it took a ton, all these flipping aluminum chips came from coming back here with a die grinder and grinding that to match the, the shape of that. So that was step two, getting the transom cut and ready to go. So now I got to kind of figure out how am I going to do this with the, the whole sequence of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this thing in and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in, glue it, bolt it up from the bottom with all those flipping quarter 20 bolt holes. And then I'm also going to sandwich um, the adapter plate on there and glue that to the transom. Let that set up uh, overnight, whatever. I'm just going to let it set. Then when I'm ready for the UHMW, I'm going to flip the boat over and I can take those bolts out because it's glued in and then I can actually go through now with the, uh, uh, through the UHMW and bolt it up from the bottom like it's meant to be. So anyway, that's what I've got going. So I'm going to get, um, get this thing glued in here. I am using the old Marine 3M 5200. Wish me luck. It's kind of like uh, anti-seize you, when you're tin man, well that stuff you're uh, covered in this white glue that just can't come off with anything other than acetone. So I'm going to get this thing in here, get it glued up. Then I'm going to go out to the grill or the shop and pull the motor in here and start looking at that. Look, make, taking some measurements off the uh, brackets and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Let's get the uh, pump in the boat. covered in 5200 so I say that was a success that went as expected all the bolts are I don't know how many one two three four five six probably there's probably 15 to 20 bolts holding that thing in all quarter 20 four bolts going through the transom we got it sealed completely around your side taped off around the transom down here in the bilge I really don't care about that you don't see it it's in the very very bottom of the boat looks uh, you're never going to see that anyway so that thing is in there um on the, the transom back here the that thing is bolted up in there bolted and glued sealed all the way around there when i seal those i put a bead all the way around the outside and then i put a bead around the inside so that any of those bolt holes you've got um adhesive sealant completely around those so that's all good one thing that i did say i said it was white but it was black. I inadvertently did the long cure. This stuff cures in seven days it takes to cure. This one is 24 hours, and I don't think there's any difference in the strength of them, other than maybe they give you a little bit more working time, but I don't know. I almost always use the short cure. I wish the short cure came in black. The black looks a lot better, uh, in my opinion. Well, I guess, I guess it all depends if you're working with a white fiberglass boat or whatever, but this stuff is, it's incredible. 3M Marine 5200, that stuff is not only a sealant, but it is an adhesive. So I could literally take those bolts out and that pump is glued. It's never, it's not coming out. So anyway, I'm gonna sign out. This was a kind of a big achievement. The pump is in. So now I'm gonna start kind of rigging the engine and, uh, and going from there. So thanks for watching. If you do enjoy the series, Please again, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I upload these. I'm not on a schedule on these, so I don't know when they're gonna come out. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some mini boat building stuff.